down. Get out. Oh, get out. Oh, get out. Oh, run! Being told to run? All right, get out of the fucking car and run. Oh, hello, friends. So nice to see you here again. Uh, I'm on John Island Boulevard. I kind of approached from the back side. And uh, I'm not sure if the Epic has any live streams going right now or not. If not, uh, welcome. Uh, from what I can gather, things are at a standstill. Uh, some folks are leaving uh, towards the Capitol. In fact, I've seen a number of protesters uh, leaving, getting bored, and or perhaps they don't want to get tear gassed. I've you know, heard that the cops have said that tear gassing will happen sooner rather than later, according to a gentleman yeah, I talked to. Uh, I'm told there are about 15 or 20 people riding a bike in a circle in the middle of the intersection. Uh, and the people, people uh, immediately surrounding are part of the same group. And then there are just a whole lot of onlookers. And uh, I saw someone on Twitter say, possibly a one-to-one -one reporter to demonstrator ratio. Um, it's pretty hard to have an undocumented uh, protest or action these days, isn't it? So what, uh, I, we're actually live on the internet right now with the oh, uptake.org. Do you want to tell me what you're doing out here today? Uh, well, we came uh, down originally to the RNC to support Ron Paul. The, uh, the Oklahoma delegates and the Nevada delegates were uh, completely abused, taken out of the process. Their votes were ignored. Um, we had le hundreds and hundreds of legitimate Ron Paul delegates uh, whose uh, voices were not heard. And um, that's happened throughout the process. So, and what, you know, aside from this, you know, we're just... Um, just checking it out. They you know, won't even mention gotta, gotta Ron Paul's name at the Republican National Convention. Yeah. When and he was one of their biggest, uh, he won more votes than uh, a lot of the smaller, uh, like Giuliani, well not Huckabee, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> where are you, are you guys from the same state or? No, actually I'm other from Los Angeles. The Los Angeles, you're where? Arizona. Arizona? Mm -hmm. And uh, well, recently moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. And uh, so that's uh, freestateproject.org, where we're trying to gather liberty lovers into one place so we can make a difference on a local level. And uh, so it's good. I enjoy talking to the Ron Paul people. I will admit it. They wave American flags. They have constitutions. You know. Hey, well, it's Mike Riano. Mike Riano. Oh, Mike Riano, we are live on the Internet. Mike Riano, local documentary filmmaker. What's going on, Mike? I don't know, I heard the thing on the news on public radio and decided to come down and see what was happening. And uh, I see you're wearing all black. Are you part of the black block? I am not. I just like black as a filmmaker and an artist. But, uh, you know, I think anybody should be allowed to be out as long as they're not, you know, wrecking, wrecking things and hassling delegates, which are, uh, which are, you know, one of our rights. And, you know, Amy Goodman, she's been speaking back to power. And, uh, you know, I think, there's gonna, I think those charges will probably be dropped. And I think it's just ridiculous that they're uh, arresting the press. Uh, now, and, uh, did you see the, uh, you, I'm sure you saw the arrest of Amy Goodman. Yep. So I, I know you to be a very, very devoted Amy Goodman I fan. Am. But uh, what do you think? Did she, did, she, was, did she push back a little too much? Did she cross the line? I don't think so. I mean, I think she's responsible for those people. They work for her. And she had her press credentials. And just like any press... I think she was just trying to find out what happened to her people and, and why the one woman was face down on the ground, especially people identifying themselves as press and then they're, and then they're harassed by the police. That's, you know, what are they trying to have in Chicago 68? You know, that's not, that's not what I thought this was going to be. Well, I never had a good feeling about this convention coming to town because I just, you know, bad energy, just not, not a good thing. Uh, I don't think the business are making the money they thought they would. I don't think it makes Coleman or Rybeck look good because it looks like they've lost control of the city. Uh, the city, you know, or both cities, but we haven't heard as much uh, protest action going on in Minneapolis. But it's just one thing after another, and, you know, I'll be glad when they're gone. Oh, hey, it's Ultimate Josh. Hello. Good job. And I'm Been covering, uh, thanks. Yeah, we got the Did dispersal warning 10 minutes ago. It's been 10 minutes, uh, so they should start the fun very soon. We can still get out north 
and west if anyone wants to leave. All the uptakers are on that side of the bridge, the left side from the direction I'm facing, and on the far end near the police. So we have all corners covered now. All right. And uh, Ultimate Josh has been doing a stellar job covering the Republican National Convention. Some media have been given gas masks. I am not currently in on that program. Uh, the mounted police uh, wearing gas masks kind of off, off to the side here, uh, followed by bike cops with gas masks and riot cops with gas masks. I heard there were also motorcycle cops, but I'm not seeing them right now. I don't, I don't know if that's a, uh, I still haven't determined if that's a rubber bullet gun or if it's shoot, nope, that's it, that shoots canisters. <clears throat> I'm gonna back up. He seems to be taking aim. So I think this group uh, backed out with their uh, police state chance it's sort of a last hurrah and appear to be now be dispersing. I'm not sure there's much reason to stick around over here. They're walking past the snow plows, so I guess. Uh, of course, riot cops are, actually, mounted cops are coming across the bridge up there. I'm not sure that's going to be a viable exit or not. Oh, sorry, folks. No, I'm just kidding. Where are you going? What's going on? We are... Jason asked us to pull back. Press passes are not being honored in the slightest. There's... Every top security guard with a badge in the city is up there. Uh, protesters marched onto the I-94 on ramp. Barricades at Marion and Albany. St. Albany or something like that. Something with an A. Okay. Marion and something with an A. All right. Disperse now and disperse to the west, but that way. Disperse to the west. Yeah, we gotta go up to the end of this block and take a right. All right. Heading towards the Sears shopping center. Yeah. Disbursement order received. And we have, uh, what, 30 seconds? Okay, 30 seconds to disperse. <laughs> I really don't know. This is me dispersing. Yes. <laughs> I'm dispersing as fast as I can. Ah, vehicle over here. We do what we can. This uh, this guy has a vehicle. So this is all the uptakers. Well, I'm trying to get everything. Well, I don't know where Oliver and uh, his brother are. We have all the uptakers except Suzanne and Oliver. And we thought we were going to be able to leave, but that's sure not happening. Yeah, there's a wave of riot cops sort of. Oh, we're in the Sears parking lot, by the way. Um, really not sure what's happening right now. We're actually being approached by the riot cops. Get out. Get out. Oh, get out. Being told to run. All right. Get out of the fucking car and run. to go. What's that? I think we're going to go too. That's possible. <laughs> Running, not the best option. We tried to get out. We circled around. 
realized that it was completely blocked off, came back in the parking lot, uh, pulled to a stop, and we're just like, hmm, well, what should we do? And while we were doing that, a wave of, of riot cops uh, sort of descended across the Sears parking lot, and then we realized they were coming towards our car, and then, uh, what did they tell us? They told, they told us to get out of the fucking car and run. Yeah, it was just that muffled, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was very frightening. So we got out of the fucking car and we ran. And now we're standing by a tree wondering if we're going to be detained or what exactly the plan is. Um, oh, they're, they're marching away from our car now. Um, someone's going to try to talk to an officer, which is really too bad. We have to be afraid to even approach an officer? Uh, yeah, we, we had a scary scary incident in the car with the riot cops. We were, we were figuring out what to do and they basically surrounded us and said, Get the fuck out of the car and run! And we got the fuck out of the car and we ran. Holy shit, right here? Right here. This oh. is where... <laughs> I really missed the action going up there. Uh, it, was, it was the most scared I've been that I can since I can remember. My heart was pumping pretty fast. I bet. Shit. No, no, I, I wandered up that way. You guys saw the uh, saw the action. This guy Finally, we got to be in the thick of it. Yeah. Well, although it was really no, nothing. It's actually, not that fun. Nothing today. actually happened. No, it's not. In, in fact, my goal today was really not to be in, in the thick of it. In the thick of anything? No, no. I was, you know, planning to kind of hold back, observe, from a safe distance, but there is no it changes yeah, you constantly. Can't. All right, so hop in the car, eh? Should we try it? Brandon gets to ride my lap. <laughs> Hello, yes. We have uh, we have escaped the uh, the riot police lockdown that was the Sears parking lot. Um, I guess I guess maybe I'll sign off since there's uh, no longer any exciting danger happening.